Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. So today I'm going to give you a look at the check valve inside this water pump. Um, I get uh, often people asking me why when they ha they're hooked up to city water does their fresh water tank suddenly totally fill and overfill. And usually the problem is inside the water pump there's a what's called a check valve that's to stop the water from back feeding through the pump. So the pump's supposed to draw water on this end through and into your system but if you're hooked up to city water the pressure from the city water is not supposed to go backwards so there's a one-way valve in there called a check valve. Um, it can become damaged um, in different ways I guess if you don't winter light if you have water in there and it freezes it can damage it or sometimes you get a lot of a uh, hard water build up in there it can cause problems. It's kind of a plastic disc with a spring so sometimes it just fails mechanically other times, if you don't use it for a long time, you can have that problem and just by cycling the pump and using it for a while, it'll correct itself. But anyway, I have like a, a spare pump here. It's kind of a backup pump now because I replaced it a little while ago, but it's still functional. But I thought I'd take it apart and then I can show you in this one. This is a SureFlow 4008, very common pump in RVs. Um, four chamber pump here and we'll we'll take it apart and I'll show you the guts and show you where, what the check valve is because a lot of people might replace the whole pump if they're having a problem but you can actually take it apart and replace just the little check valve and save yourself a lot of money. So anyway I'm just going to pop the screws apart and we'll pull this thing apart and see where the check valve is and what it looks like. Okay, so there we are apart. See the motor turns, turns this little thing. Looks like some kind of magnetism takes place and it moves these diaphragms in and out. There's four diaphragms there and that's what pumps the water. Let's put this back on and we'll give you a look at that. There we go, let's fire it up here. go then inside here the water's coming in there into this chamber and right there is the check valve so when the water comes in it pushes open the check valve and then it can go out but when you turn the pump off that valve pops back and then water can't go back through there so to get at that check valve I'm going to, have to take out this little unit here that's also what they call the pressure switch. There we go. So there's a good look at it there. Comes out of that hole. You can see there's a spring. And also around there is a small rubber o-ring all around up there. And there's also another o-ring right there. So either of those o-rings could have a problem and cause a leak or you could have a problem with that spring or it could actually just get stuck open usually that would happen you know from you get a lot of hard water in there you get crystal build up and sometimes it'll stick open that's when I find if you actually were to just use the pump a bit it would probably free it up and then it would work again anyway it's a pretty simple part to replace not a whole lot of screws to undo. Everything comes apart pretty easily on that.
This part here they call the pressure switch and you can see there's a little Allen key adjustment there. Usually you don't have to adjust that, it's set by the factory, but um, adjusting it will uh, will change the, the amount of cycling the pump does, so sometimes that might be uh, something you'd want to do, but usually you just leave it alone. And they said this was um, bypass setting, there's an adjustment there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the uh, chuck valve in there and how easy it is to take apart and change it if you had a problem with it or try to figure out why your uh, city water would be filling your fresh water tank. There is other valves, winterizing valves and different things in an RV that could be the culprit but this is a, a pretty common occurrence. The other way to fix it if you didn't want to take all this apart is you could just leave everything as is and then install an inline chuck valve just by screwing it into one of the water lines. Okay, back together. Let's give her a test. Yeah, it seems to have some pretty good suction. Anyway, like I said, I've replaced this pump. I just keep it now as a, a second backup pump. I replaced it with a, a different uh, newer pump because this thing was starting to cycle quite a bit I think maybe this switch was starting to go so I got myself a brand new pump because we dry camp an awful lot so this thing's actually seen a lot of a lot of use and also I installed a an accumulator tank to kind of make the flow a lot more even so uh, if you want to see those videos I'll link to them in the description anyway till next time Ray from LoveYourRV.com cheers everyone